Hello there folks. I'm going to give you guys uh, instructions about two things. The first one is about the PR Pro features of the new Project Eva game. The PR Pro is a website where players can upload music onto. And uh, with this new Project Eva F second, they teamed up together with uh, the Sega or whatever. So now, if the player, when they make an edit, they can choose to upload their music onto this Pia Pro website and then tie it together with the game. So when people want to play it and they have an account with Pia Pro, you can actually directly download the MP3 inside the game. You don't have to look for the MP3, it just downloads it automatically. When it asks you, do you want to download it from Pia Pro? And that's it. It's a lot easier. In the past, you had to download the music uh, off the computer and uh, after finding the right one, of course, and then. Um, use the USB stick and put in your PS3 which is a lot more work but uh, we're not going to be doing that anymore all my edits from now on and I'm going to fix up my old edits so that they will have PR Pro once I figure out how to do that But and any new edits I find that have the uh, music on PR Pro I'm not going to, I'm going to make you guys do it this way, I'm not going to put the MP3 on uh, my YouTube anymore so let's go ahead, we need to make an account just go to Google and type in PIA PRO and then JP and it's going to be the very first one right there. Oh, I click translate. Alright, there we go. It's going to be in Japanese, but that's to be expected. You are playing a Japanese game. So, anyways, at the top right corner, there's a login. Just click on that. And here you can create a new account. It's this button right here, the second green one below. Just click on it. And here's the license and terms and agreement that you have to read very carefully. Make sure that you don't get scammed or anything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just click the screen button right here. Nobody reads that, let alone read it in a foreign language. All right, here we go. Let's put an email in here. Apparently, the um, I tried a Yahoo one. It didn't work. So, But I used a Hotmail one, and the Hotmail one worked. So I made a new Hotmail just to show this tutorial here. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Hotmail.com and click the green button here alright and it's asking you to please go to your email uh, and check the, for the link so I'm going to go ahead and do that on the side here mm, it's not coming yet, come on oh <laughs> I made a slight mistake Allow me to redo this one more time. I forgot my uh, email that I just made. <laughs> All right, one more time. Outlook.com. That's what I used. There we go. Okay. Well, that was pretty fast. Came instantly. So you click on the link that comes inside your email, and this is what comes up after you click on the link. There's my troll email I made right there. This is going to be your PR Pro ID. Uh, let's pick something like I like trains. There we go. Let's not make that a capital just in case. I like trains. There we go. That's my ID. And then the password for it. So I'm just going to make up a password here. You got to type it twice. Once here, once here. You don't have to put your Twitter ID. You can pick a little avatar right here. Who cares? Here you can put in the year. Uh, just put in whatever. 1989. That's how old I am. And then the rest you can leave the same. So once you've done that, you can continue right here. It's asking you to double check everything. Is everything okay? And then you say yes. Everything is fine and dandy. And you're done. Except you're not actually done. You have to make another password and I found this out the hard way because I was like why the hell is not not, uh, not letting me log in when I was trying to log in the game with a password and account but it turns out there's another password you have to uh, make and enable in the control panel settings to actually let you do this inside the game so let's go ahead and do that at the top right now you'll see your little avatar icon and you'll see three buttons that you can click on and just click on any of them doesn't matter I'll take you to this kind of little control panel settings so you can click the little wrench and screwdriver icon right here all right, and now here, if you look at the very bottom, you'll see the diva blah 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 password, and this uh, two kanji words right here that you can click on. 
So this is talking about setting the password for it so that you can log in inside the game. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work with the account and the password you just made. So just click on that. And then here, it'll let you type in the password twice that you're gonna make. And this is the password that you're gonna use inside the game when you're trying to log in. So I'm just gonna do the same password, whatever. There we go. And that's it, we got a PM Pro account. So now I'm gonna hop on over to the game. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this on a new account though because I don't, it automatically keeps you logged in. So I have to show you guys the login process and all that. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, yeah. Sega. Sega. <laughs> all right, we're back. This is my dummy account here. So that way when I get the uh, edit, it's going to ask me to log in. So first, I'm going to show you guys something. This right here is the edit section, but this is not where you go to play edits. This is where you go if you want to make your own edit, or you're trying to load up somebody else's edit, so that you can customize and edit whatever they did inside that edit. Which is why I get a lot of um, questions like, hey, I forgot your edit, but... I can't play, it's asking me for a password, help! And I'm like, no man, you're trying to edit my data, that's not where you go! This is where you go to play the edits, right here. Where you uh, play the regular songs in the tutorial, the third one right here, that's where you play edits, which I'll show you after I get it edited, um, using the Pia Pro and all that stuff. So, make it simple, don't go in here. Don't do it man, it's a trap. Unless you want to make an edit, then you can go in here, otherwise, get out of there. This purple icon is the network, this is where we're gonna go. And I'll give you guys a little tutorial here. Uh, we gotta save the game here. Alright, let's save. Tutorial. And got this. Alright, here we go. So we got a couple options here. This one right here is your own edits that you uploaded, the very bottom one, uh, my data. The top one right here is what's most popular. You can see here above the stars, you can, uh, there's numbers. I'm positive that that's how many times the edit has been uh, downloaded. So number one right now is some six trillion years, but that's not the one that I have on my YouTube. It's some really crappy one. I have no idea why it's so popular. Like I tried, I was looking at those, I was like, the hell is this crap? The PV is okay, I guess, but the other one's way better, in my opinion. Anyways, the second one is by the date, so you can go here and if you want to browse randomly the edits that people uploaded. And if you take a look here, see how some of the edits have the PIA Pro icon? That's how you know that these are the ones that the player has uh, put their own uh, music on the PIA Pro website, so you can directly download it. So from now on, when I uh, upload the edits that I find that are really nice, or my own, including my own edits, I'm going to also update my edits so that it has the PIA Pro once I figure out how to do that. But uh, I'm no longer going to upload the music on Mediafire, so better pay attention how to do this. Alright, the third one right here is where you're going to search for player's edits. The very top one is the unique ID of the edit. This is not where you go. Okay. If you try and go here and you type the people's PSN ID, it's not going to work. And I don't know why, but if you look, the unique ID is so long. Here it is right there. You can see number one is like W and W E F space. It's like some serial number off uh, like a software that you buy or something. It's so long. I'm not sure why they made it that long. Anyway, so just ignore that one. This is the one that you want. The third one right here. This is where you search the player's uh, PSN ID. Like for example, you can search mine. H I S O K E E E. And then you can see my edits right here. Yeah, they're always 10 stars and above, so if you like easy songs, don't search my name. Or still do, up to you. But that's how you search people. That's why, uh, for people that have never played edits before, this is the reason why I always put the PSN ID under my YouTube uh, description for this exact reason. So let's go ahead, let's uh, search actually uh, the new one that I just recently uploaded, which is Tony There we go, all of this has PF Pro, very nice, makes it nice and easy. Uh, let's download one that I don't have already, I don't believe I have... Uh, I 
don't believe I have this one. So let's go ahead and see what this like. So we're gonna go ahead and download the edit. Click OK. Right here, top one, save your edit that you're just about to download. Would you like to save this data? Yes. Save completed. Now, now it's saving the thumbnail. One really uh, nice thing that I like about this new F-Second is that you get to keep your records on your edits now, so that's really nice. I'm not sure why I didn't do it in the, the previous one, but it's still too bad you can't use uh, challenge items on edits just for fun. Maybe it's probably the Diva F third will do that. So now that we got the edit, we can go here to the, the rhythm game and go to the third one. Now, if you still don't want to do this PI Pro way, for whatever reason, when you choose to play the edit that has the PI Pro icon, okay? And then push start. You'll see this message asking you like this uh, edit has a PFRO MP3 tied to it. Do you want to log in to PFRO? You can just say no, I don't. And then it'll continue to the next section. But if you have the PFRO, which like I said, it's not that hard to make, it will, after you type it in the first time, the game will remember it for you. So it's a lot easier uh, for you to get the MP3 in the future. And like I said, from now on, if the edit has PFRO, or if I make an edit, I'm not going to be putting it on my YouTube channel. Say hi, hi, say yes to everything. Uh, let's see what comes up. Alright. Alright. Normally, just before this, a little box will come up where you just say, uh, it'll show the whatever the user's comments and click OK, and then you'll see a uh, type in your account ID at the top and the password at the bottom. But because I already kind of typed it in on this dummy account, since this is my second recording, actually, my first recording of music was too loud. It skipped out completely and it just automatically logged me in. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out how to type in the account name and the password yourself and then click the OK button. It's not that hard. Anyways, after that, you know, that's what, this is what you'll see instead. And then you just say the left button, I agree. And it's going to start downloading the uh, MP3. Oh. This must be a pretty long MP3. This one takes longer than normal. In the middle saving. Alright, it's done. So now we're in the section. If you were to say no in the very beginning to the PF Pro uh, message, this is where you would get to instead. Oh, can I go back? Yes, this is the box right here that uh, I can show you guys. You just type in the ID, your account, uh, PF Pro ID, <clears throat> and then the password you make, and hit OK. That's it. And then you'll get to the same spot that I was. And now there's three tabs right here. This is the, I guess the TV one. This is the MP3s on your PS3. So, this is how the old way works. If you uh, got the MP3 on the computer and then put it on your PS3, it'll be on here. So, this is the section for all the MP3s that you got from PF Pro. Let's go ahead, let's give it a try for this edit real quick, and that's pretty much it, how you play edits on uh, Diva F second. Put my headphones on, and let me see how good this edit is. I'm just going to play for like 30 seconds. Alright, it's a pretty good edit. I failed though, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you play edits. I hope you guys have fun. See ya.